Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Pipeworks Brewing Company. These guys are up in Illinois. Uh, this is their Lizard King. Very, very colorful can. They have spent a lot of money getting all this fancy artwork graphics printed on this can for no reason at all. They could have put a stick on label on there. That's what they choose to spend their money on. I'd rather be spending on what's inside the can. And a bunch of high dollar graphics on the outside. And this is printed on the can, guys. It's not a wrapper. So I'm sure that was a pricey thing to have printed up. Uh, it says 6.0% 6 6 alcohol by volume. Where right off the bat, uh, Beer Advocate has it listed as a 6.5%. So I'm definitely, they've done it before. Uh, the 6.0 is printed on the can, so they had to have this one printed up different than the 6.5. Seems like it, to me, it have been a lot easier just to print up a new label than to print up a whole new fancy can like this. But that's just my opinion now, guys. Uh, <laughs> I just don't understand when they spend big time dollars to have these uh, fancy, super colorful. It is a beautiful can. It has got skulls and knives and looks like some kind of dragon or some kind of beast on there. I can't tell what the hell it is. Very, very colorful. Lizard King Mosaic Hopped Pale Hell. It's not an IPA. And on the bottom of it, it says it was canned on uh, April the 19th of 2017. So they do have a dating machine. So two big thumbs up to them for that. It's not a used by, best by, best before, or any of that kind of crappy ass information uh, has a canned on day so I guess if they want to spend their money on fancy graphics on a printed can that's up to them. Hopefully we got something tasty inside and more than likely we do guys. This was sent to me by my brother Rico and he writes Pipework Lizard King 6% American Pale Ale Brews Mosaic and Amarillo Hops according to Rate Beer. Well we don't really care about Rate Beer because we don't use Rate Beer anymore. Uh, he said he bought it last week for $10 for a four pack. And he tells me the can don't make, which I just read to you guys. So that's basically uh, all of it in a nutshell here. So, uh, and over at Beer Advocate, they have a big long commercial description, but eh, they've got a 6.5%. So I'm not going to read that description because they've got the wrong ABV for this particular version that we're doing. And looking at the can, it looks like it's got the same graphics. So uh, I don't, I don't know uh, why they would say it's 6.5 percent. I can't see the ABV on the picture that they're showing, but then maybe they've done it before and it was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Oh well, uh, that's all we need to talk about. So let's stop talking. This is the first beer of the day. Today is the 10th of June. And we're going to get this into the glass. A great big 16 ounce can. Cuisine is Pan Asian. Cheese is Earthy Camembert by Tina. Your Nutty Cheeses, Colby Parmesan, Tangy Brick Adam and Feta. General Salad. The glass bar is a pint. Bacchanonic. Tumbler Mug. Stein Side Dell. And it looks like it has a decent carbonation to it here, guys. And uh, I'm using my favorite uh, Tulip Glass here, solid beer glass. And since it's a hoppy beer, uh, you probably shouldn't sell on this beer. You should drink it fresh. Another reason why they put a can on that on so you know how fresh it is. Take advantage of it. Because a lot of them not doing that. They put in best buy, best before, used by, whatever buy. So, uh, over to the light, it is a very cloudy beer. I mean, I can't see the light at all through this big bulb part. I can see it down through this fan 
uh, part down there, but I can't see it through the big bowl part. Nice amber color. Good looking beer and a lot of bubbles streaming up, so it looks like it's very well carbonated. Let's get the nose to it. Very, very citrusy, guys. Pints of pineapple and grapefruit. Nice citrusy, orangey. Smells very juicy and a lot of tropical fruit notes in there, guys. Let's have time. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. I didn't notice uh, whether we had an IBU listed on untapped. No, we don't. Don't have it anywhere. So, we don't know what the IBUs, but being a pale ale, it's not into the IPA range more than likely. It doesn't taste like it is either. I would say it's in the 50s. Very easy drinking. Alcohol is super well hidden. That is a very pleasant beer, guys. For a pale ale, super hoppy. If you blindfolded me and put it under my nose, I'd say, oh, that's an IPA. But if I looked at it, being as cloudy as it is, and not seeing the can and smelling even with my eyes open, I would say, that's probably an IPA. But once you take a drink out of it, and you realize you don't have that strong bitterness on the back end of it, uh, you can tell it's a hoppy pale ale because it's not bitter. And a lot of times these guys can call it whatever they want to call it. If they want to call it an IPA with 40 IBUs, uh, they can do that. If they want to call it a pale ale with 75 IBUs, they can do that too. So it, <coughs> it's all up to the, the brewer or the brewery, <coughs> the brewery uh, of what they want to call the beer. I'm going to get all of it in for a golf camera because a lot of times there's a lot of pulpy juiciness hanging around in the bottom of the can. And I want to get all that in there while I was still on camera and see if it changed uh, any cloudy. But it is super cloudy. It looks unfiltered. It looks just like a juice bomb, guys. I swear it does. Not quite as orangey, orange juice uh, as some of them are. Uh, but it definitely looks unfiltered. Uh, I might be stretching it by calling it a juice bomb, but it is definitely unfiltered. Looks tasty. It is tasty. You can tell it's rather carbonated there too. Uh, throwing that in from the bottom and jump the head back up to two fingers. Super delicious. Excellent. Excellent beer. Alright, we're going to sip on it for a little bit, let her taste it, and we'll come back and see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Awesome lacing. A lot of times when these beers are well carbonated, they pour these two fingers of head. You get a lot of that lacing on the side of the glass. Uh, very tasty. Very hop forward pale ale. Very delicious. With a date on the bottom of the can the way it is, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I think it's a very, very tasty pale ale. Very hop forward, like I said. Uh, very citrusy. A lot of tropical fruit notes on here. I'm getting orange and grapefruit. And hints of pine, very delicious. Final chug. Very low bitterness, being a pale ale. Very easy drinking. Alcohol is super well hidden. Delicious beer, guys. I do think this is an A beer, and that's what I'm going to give it. Uh, 95 is what I'm going to give it right down the middle of the road there. I would like to see them uh, put the IBUs on there. It would be nice to have that information. Uh, but it is a tasty beer. A beer for me. Let me go over to Beer Advocate. And Beer Advocate says 95. World class. Same thing I'm getting. It. Definitely an A beer from those guys. And final check-in. We'll go to Untapped. They have 4.06. Which is in their A category also. So uh, A beer all around guys. So. Uh, very tasty beer, definitely worth picking up, uh, especially if you like a hop forward pale ale, which this is, this is uh, uh, definitely looks unfiltered to me. Uh, borderline juice bomb, it's not that 
orange juice or grapefruit juice looking color, but it's definitely unfiltered beer as far as appearance is to me. It doesn't tell us that on the can. Would like to have that information, but you know, you're going to judge for yourself after you pour it in a glass. Didn't have a lot of hot particles or any kind of particulates or junk in the trunk you know, like a lot of them do, especially from the alchemists uh, like we did the other day. Uh, Seems like all their beers have a lot of floaties in them. Uh, even on their uh, heady topper it says drink from the can because they don't want you to see all that shit floating around in the, in the, in the glass. So uh, I don't like to see a lot of those particulates, especially those great big chunks. And I know it wasn't old beer, uh, but still, it's very unappealing when you see all that shit floating around in your glass. So uh, it is what it is, I guess. Very tasty beer. Rico, thanks again, my brother, for sending it to me. Let me try it. Uh, I would buy it. It is a very tasty pale ale. Very hot forward. If you've had this one, uh, the Lizard King from Pipeworks. This is a 6.0 version, not the 6.5 like Beer Average got written. So uh, if you've had that, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge.